you know what this is. American Standard. You gotta remember the lens on this. The phone is on the side. Down the hatch. Nice flush. Not too much of a water waster. Nice tile work. Shower head could be a little bit higher. Typical. Yeah, discussion plate. Oh. Maybe there is a 2x4 behind this oversized shower curtain rod. What's the fan sound like? Oh, that's bright and hot, incandescent. Expensive fan. You can hear that baby crank up. Granite countertop, not much room for your accessories. What could they have done here? Put a shelf over here. Sink is square and decent sized. How does the plumbing look? Compression fitting on the copper, crappy escutcheon plate. Crappy escutcheon plate that does nothing. Dollar store plumbing. Quarter turn. Ball valves. Cheap ass toilet paper. Oh my god, I didn't make this stuff so thin. This is bottom of the line. Dollar store. Beaver handles are a nice touch. Yep, yeah, won't be doing any of that. Here's something interesting I noticed. They've got a couple of outlets here at the desk and a USB port. And underneath, got various little gadgets. I don't even know what they are. Hmm. No idea what that is. Somebody will know. $150 cleaning fee if you smoke in the room. No, I think I'll pass. Comfy bed, comfy pillows. These lights are a little bit too bright. Don't see that too often. LED bulbs, which they're selling at the dollar store now. Outlet, light switch, night table, cheap clock radio, but it's better than nothing. And four outlets. That's crazy. How many hotels do I go to that have no outlets beside the bed? And this one has one, two, three, four, five. And a light. Two lights. Boy, oh boy, somebody thought this out. It's so easy. Too bad there's so much air coming in. Last night it was cold. It was around freezing here in Albany, New York. You could feel the cold air coming in right through there. Thank goodness they gave me a cushion that I stuffed in there. You know what it's like when it's really cold outside. 10 degrees or even zero, minus 18 Celsius. So that side of the bed gets four outlets plus one on the lamp. And this side just gets one and a short circuited one right there. I'm going to just try something. Goes to my travel bag. I'm going to grab my adapter and see how much tension there is left on the receptacle. It's actually pretty strong. Usually those are all worn out from the vacuuming. Oh, that one's dead. Dead. Guess which one they plug the vacuum into. Of course the outlet. Start loose in the wall. This one's nice and strong, even though it got zapped. And this one's worn out. You'd think they'd have a program to change that every five years. Nobody cares. I even have special scissors to cut those threads that are loose on the carpet. Yep, carpet scissors. Have an offset handle. I saw some nice scissors at the dollar store yesterday. We're going to leave this New York USA Today newspaper behind and do our final stretch and then deal with getting the blazer back. Maybe I should put it in the trailer, dolly it, flat tow it with a tow bar that I'll make specially to fit. Well, I know what those transformers are for. They are for, aha, uh -huh. this little fluorescent light here. It's got all kinds of junk hanging down from it. What the heck is that? Looks like melted adhesive. Very dim LED. That's the upper light. And this one was like a little night light last night. Just kept a little glow in the room. Huh. Too bad it's all yucky looking. Whatever the heck that is. Alright. They're wearing out some plugs. They got LED lights. And a 
a smoke detector with paper stuffed into it. Interesting. I guess somebody was smoking in the room. I'm going to tell this guy the plug's worn out. I bet you won't change it and I'll never know. Nice tile work. But these tiles don't hide the dirt when you walk in with your slippers or whatever. They show all kinds of marks. What do you think about that, your beekeeper? I was watching his video. It showed up right below whatever I was watching, maybe my video. And I, I read it and it said, I thought it read, you know who your beekeeper is. He's in Northern California with a 99 Cummins 5-speed. I thought he wrote, my Cummins broke down and I bought a tuner. <laughs> I thought his truck died and he bought some four-cylinder rice rocket. I wonder what he would say about this ceramic tile. you got to get ceramic tile for a bathroom that hides the dirt pretty much anywhere you put ceramic tile because otherwise you can see all kinds of stuff on the floor that would hide otherwise and they did continue the tile past the tub just a wee bit to stop the damage to the sheetrock I always use cement board Duroc I go past the tub and then I use ceramic tile over the rest of the bathroom including the ceiling which I drop down a bit no need for an eight-foot ceiling in the bathroom. Off we go. I broke down and bought a tuner. <laughs>